Hello again, class. All right. So today, we are going to be focusing on fluidity. Okay? Um, so we're going to talk about many things. We're going to be talking about describing things, which this is an act that we are uh, continuously improving upon. There are many adjectives and adverbs that help us uh, expand our ability to um, describe things. I mean, there are just countless, especially if we enter into the world of literature. But in this class, we're going, going to be focusing on speaking uh, and describing things we see. And so, um, what I want to do first is talk about common things that we need to describe, okay? So, um, let's think about this. We often describe people. What else do we often describe? Maybe places, other common themes. Um, we often describe objects. Emotions and weather. Right? These are just the. There are many others, of course. There's um, sports, entertainment, politics, millions of things. But we'll just focus on these for now. So, what I'd like for you to do is in pairs, I want you to make little islands with your desks. And then I'm going to be passing around large pieces of paper. And I want us to just brainstorm for a few minutes, let's say uh, four minutes, five minutes, okay? As many different ways as we can to describe people, places, objects, um, emotions, and weather, okay? So we can begin to do this now, all right, and Okay, as soon as we're done, we can share some of our um, different ideas. In fact, I have an idea. Maybe we can do a, a sort of modified think um, pair square. Well, we're already on the pair, so we'll do pair square share. <laughs> okay, and this way we all can think together and share our ideas, all right? So first in pairs, think together, but don't share with the rest of the class. Later, we will square, meaning we'll put four people together, four people in one area, one station, okay? And then after that, we can go ahead and share with the class, and then the final step, we'll put everyone together and share, and this way we can all go naming different uh, adjectives and adverbs that perhaps others have thought of, okay? So together we'll increase our um, amount of vocabulary in these topics. Now class, what we will do is, we're going to talk just briefly, speaking of emotions, I want to briefly talk about my good friend, Stephen Krashen, who has inspired these uh, golden rules of speaking that I've put up in this class. And of course, um, Stephen Krashen was this great, uh, is, actually, I've, I've met him last year here in Madrid at a bilingual con conference, so he's still around. <laughs> but he's a, an excellent linguist. He has really uh, created a, a very popular field um, that is the comprehensible input uh, idea. It's one of his big theories. But um, before we go into this, I just want to touch very lightly on one of his ideas, which is the effective filter idea. And um, so, the effective filter essentially says that emotions are, the whole range of strong emotions especially, are one of the um, greatest or most effective ways to stop you from being able to communicate with fluidity. So, with this in mind, um, while we are speaking here in our safe environment in the school, I don't want you to be perfect, okay? I don't want you to focus, on, for this activity at least, and in general, I don't want you to focus too much 
on your errors or being perfect grammatically, okay? What I want today is to focus on fluidity and to try including new vocabulary in our spoken English. So, with that in mind, let's go to um, the board. I'm going to now project a video, okay? And it's going to be um, on YouTube, and it's called Alike. Okay, that's the name of our video. Now what I want us to do is, again, get in pairs, but one person will have their back to the screen, okay? The other person will be looking at the screen. And I will play this video in just a minute, and when I do, when we begin, I want the people who are looking at the screen to begin describing everything they can in the video, okay? Using all these different adjectives and adverbs that we, that we will have thought of. And so, um, it's very important that we relax and don't try to be perfect, as I always say. Uh, just try to get better, be patient with yourself, um, and try to continuously, as much as possible, describe what you see in the video. Okay, halfway through the video, we're going to ask the people with their backs to the screen um, what they have heard from their speaker, and then we'll ask everyone what they think will happen later, okay, in the second half, and then we'll change positions. Okay, and it will be the person who had their back to the screen, it will be their turn to look and describe everything possible. All right, that's gonna be our class today. Thanks a lot.